Hello everyone. This is Tech Puntal. Today I will be discussing how you can connect or mount your AWS S3 into your Databricks. So for that, first you need to go inside AWS IAM console. So I will go there, and you need to create one user. So just like I have created two user for your case also, you just need to create one user. So add user. Give any kind of name for let's say Z here. You don't need uh, any console access here. So for that, I will keep it unchecked and then go to next attach policy. So for sake of simplicity, I will attach administrator access and then go to next and then create user. I will not create any more user as I already have one. So here I will be using the demo user. Okay. So once you create that uh, user, so and go inside the user section in user, there will be something called security credentials. In security credential, you need to create one uh, access key, just like I have already created. So just like create on access key, and then select third party service, and then I understood, and then next, and then. Once you click on this create access key, it will create one access key for you. So for my case, I have already these one. So I don't need to create any more. Now, once the user got created, you need to come inside Databricks. So for my case, I'm using Databricks Community Edition. And after that, you need to go inside compute and you need to create one cluster here. I have already created uh, a cluster and which is already running. But for your case, if uh, there is no cluster created, you need to create one cluster, give any name there and just uh, choose any runtime. So for my case, I'm using 12.2 as of now. And that will be enough. So once this is created, you just need to create one notebook. Fine. And give a name for your notebook and then then create and this cluster uh, and this notebook will be uh, attached with your cluster basically fine now I will go inside my cluster uh, where my notebook is running so this is my notebook which is already running in my cluster now look into the code here now you need to pass on the access key. You need to pass on the secret key here. And then these are the two configuration parameter. And after that, uh, give the region where your bucket is located. And then again, one can configuration line. And then you can access your data basically. This is your typical Spark code. So I have CSV file inside my bucket and I'm trying to get that uh, particular data. So if I hit shift enter, it will give me the output. So you can see my data is visible here. Now this is one way where you can access the data directly uh, from the S3. And there is another way where you can mount your bucket into your Databricks system. So for that, again, you need to pass on your access key. You need to pass on your secret key. You just encode your secret key, then give the bucket name and then a mount name. So you can put anything uh, here uh, as your mount point name. Then you are just mounting the bucket and then display I'm just uh, doing a display uh, here, uh, what is there inside my bucket. And then I'm providing the exact location where my data is. And then I'm trying to read the data and I want to see my schema of the data. So for that, I will again hit shift enter. Okay, so it's showing that uh, my directory is, my bucket is already mounted. So for that, I just need to unmount it first. So it's, it will try to unmount. And 
once this got unmounted you can again mount it and see your data so it's unmounted already i will run this code again so this time it will mount my bucket into my databricks file system and from there i will able to read the data so just like i, I have mentioned that uh, i want to see what uh, what is there right so this is the thing that is showing me what are the folders are there and then uh, it is uh, printing the schema of my data right so this is my data you can see uh, this is the schema actually so yeah that's all thank you for watching